Hello, hello, new actor. My name is Olivia Cadenitz. I'm so glad you found my channel. Today's video is what to wear to an audition, audition outfit ideas and inspo. I chose this silky dress for like a popular girl because she cares about what she looks like. So I want it to reflect that in the fabric. So I went with like this silky fabric. I put on some gold jewelry. And instead of going for like a separate top and separate bottom, I just kind of separated it by putting a belt underneath. Ta-da! You can definitely go without it, but you know, that's just personal preference. And I'm all for not putting on a separate pair of pants and a separate t-shirt. And if you have bra straps, hide them. Film and TV really doesn't like them. So really take a look at genre and stereotypes and see if there are any patterns in the movies you've been watching. The Mean Girl look is another look I go out for a lot. You know, a bit of luxury in there. It's chic. It looks expensive. That's the look we're going for. Jewelry is there. It's simple and it just gives that extra bit of sparkle. If you want to take this outfit further, you can roll up the sleeves. In film and TV, they love seeing a bit of bare arms, especially your forearms. So tucking the shirt in is gonna give you a more defined silhouette. I'm all for that in film and television. When it's nice and baggy, it usually looks better in person, but it's personal preference. Do what makes you feel comfortable. Here's another outfit in that same category. I kept the same pants, my beige pants, and I just added a darker fitted shirt. And it just really emphasizes your figure, especially for auditions. They want to see what they're working with so they can dress you in the best way possible. The audition outfit ideas and inspo are based on roles that I go out for personally and this is what I would wear to the most popular roles that I get submitted for. The next look is more businessy. Think realtor, banker, lawyer. I personally go with fitted looks and then I experiment with blazers. Blazers just add that extra bit of structure, especially around the shoulders, and that's something I personally really love. Again, I'm going with the gold accents on the blazer, which matches my jewelry. Again, if you think, if you get sent out for the role of a doctor or anything official, authoritative, Blazers are a great way to communicate that through your wardrobe. If you'd like me to do a part two and cover more outfit ideas, let me know in the comment box below. I also put my hair to the side in this video, but you really just want to make sure that they can see your face so your hair is not too distracting. I um, obviously did not have a hair and makeup team during this video. <laughs> The wardrobe you wear brings your character to life. It speaks volumes. So take into consideration what your character likes, what you're comfortable in, because all of that is going to translate on camera. The next look is probably the role I go out for the most. Think the girl next door, the best friend, that sort of category. Prints are always hit or miss. So what I like to do is I like to do a test frame. So before I do a self tape, before I go to an audition, I film myself on camera with my phone in my outfit and I ask myself, am I immediately drawn to my face or am I immediately drawn to my item of clothing? We never want to distract from our face. That's why nine out of 10 times, I'm always telling you guys, go for solid colors, neutrals, know what works good with your skin tone because prints can get risky and it's usually a risk I don't want to take. Here I'm just showing you, you guys let me know. Would you wear this if you were the girl next door? You tell me, are you distracted by my dress? Usually red is not worn for an audition and prints that are this busy are also avoided. This is kind of like what I wouldn't do. You can definitely make prints work if you have a blazer over or a cardigan, jean jacket, anything of that sort that would still work for the character, but that's the fun part. So the next batch of outfits, think student, think geeky, think nerdy. I don't typically go out for these roles as much as the others, but I always like going for a polo shirt with these. I went with pink here just to give a pop of color with jeans, and then I have my glasses on top. So the whole point of this video is to help you with your audition outfit ideas, give you some inspiration, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comment box below. If you wear glasses, you can choose to wear them just like I am in this next look. I added a headband just to emphasize things a bit. I also added a belt to separate my outfit. 
you can lose the belt, you can keep it. What do you think? Does it look better with the belt or without? Have fun with your audition outfits. I hope you've gotten some audition outfit ideas. I hope you know what to wear for your auditions now. And let me know what other stereotyped roles I should try next. Thanks for tuning in till the end. I appreciate you. And next week, I've got something special coming out. So I will see you on Tuesday.